ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੈਂ ਪਵਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਅੱਜ ਫੇਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਮਾਈ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਤੋਂ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮਾਈ ਸ਼ੋ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਈਫ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਦਿਲਚਸਪ ਸ਼ਖਸੀਅਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਵਾਉਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਨੇ ਡੈਨਿਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਡੈਨਿਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੈਂ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਤੇ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੋਵਾਂ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਨ ਡੈਨਿਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੁਣ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨਾ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਵੀ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਏਗਾ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੱਦ ਤੱਕ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਸਰਲ ਨਾ ਹੋਣ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੇਰਵਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਡੈਨਿਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਟੀਵੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਸ਼ੋ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਯੂਰ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਜਰਨੀ ਟੁਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਥੈਟ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਯੂਥ for those of us who need an inspiration and you are an inspiration for the local Sikh community here in the Washington metropolitan area so well we will uh, begin with by asking you so how were you introduced first of all thank you very much for the invitation Anji how I've been introduced to Sikhism over 50 years ago when I was on campus at University of Michigan I met Dr. Nani Hal Singh. Very nice Sikh gentleman. Wow. And I spent a lot of time around him learning about Sikhism. So 50 years ago, aaj to 50 saal pehla e Sikhi de introduce hoye sige. So during that time, you know, it's I I am completely amazed. I really don't know, you know, how to proceed because my mind is thinking that here we have an African American gentleman 50 years ago when the segregation laws were still in effect. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. So, 50 years ago we had not only just the segregation laws, here we have Af- an African American man who is already coming from a marginal group of people and he has chosen to go and join another marginalized <laughs> and often misunderstood group which is Sikhism wow so like a double whammy right? that is a double whammy and <laughs> i must ask yeah. what was it what introduced you i mean what was so enticing that you decided to you know jump into it and uh, you were up for the challenge because most of the Sikhs that you often see are um of the south asian descent and uh, we inherit sikhi you know but on the other hand you earned it very much so you know um <clears throat> it was something that i think was ordained the way i really came into it one day on campus i saw a tall handsome gentleman like about 200 yards away wow he had a burgundy turban <laughs> okay on. no i ran straight to the man ran straight to him and without good morning or any greetings first thing sir can you show me how to tie the turban and he was very very gentle you know he said to me here is an address next sunday you go to this place that was the start of sikhism for me from that gentleman he just disappeared never see him again but i remember him i, I can see his face up until this moment So you just saw that person one, yes, day, one day and you were attracted to his turban nothing else no dialogue no greetings mm-hmm. and then did he show you how to tie the turban he didn't he I didn't never, I never saw him again you never saw, saw him again this is the whole mystical part of this why it, when i came into sikhism fully i understood you will know my sikhs in a crowd of thousand you will see them my and god lo ji sardar dennis singh ohna ne lakh rupaye di gall kiti hai jivein assi punjabi de vich gall karde ha keh rahe ne ke jadon aaj to 50 saal pehla ek university of michigan de campus te eh ja rahe sige te inna nu ek sardar milya 
ਔਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਪਗੜੀ ਵਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਇੰਨੀ ਖਿੱਚ ਹੋਈ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੱਤ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਕਿ ਸੱਤ ਕਹੀ ਔਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇੱਕੋ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਤੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਬੰਨਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਕੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਿਖਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੇ ਵਾਦਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਐਤਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਦੀ ਸਖਾਈ ਸਖਲਾਈ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਪਰ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਕੁਦਰਤ ਦੇ ਖੇੜ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਹੀ ਨਿਆਰੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੀ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਬਾਜਾਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਨੇ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਤਿਆਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ 1.5 ਲੱਖ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੱਲਾ ਜੋ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਚਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਔਰ ਅੱਜ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਹੀ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਪਿੰਡੇ ਤੇ ਹੰਡਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੀ ਹੀ ਰੂਹ ਇੱਕ ਐਸਾ ਸਰੀਰ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੀਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਪਗੜੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹ ਟਾਰਗੇਟ ਬਣਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਪਗੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਔਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਾਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਿਮੂਲੇਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਲ ਜਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਤੇ ਭਰਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਸਹਿਤ ਆਦਰ ਸਹਿਤ ਹੱਥ ਜੋੜ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਿਆਰਾਪਨ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਆ ਹੀ ਇਸੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਕਰੀਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਪਹਿਚਾਣੇ ਜਾਈਏ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਜਾ ਕੇ ਰੱਖੀਏ ਔਰ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਅਗਲਾ ਸਟੈਪ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਚੇਤੇ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਦਾ ਕਿਰਦਾਰ ਵੀ ਨਿਭਾਉਣਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਦੀ ਸਿਗਨੀਫੀਕੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਪੈਕੇਜ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਝੂਠ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਬਰਾਬਰਤਾ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਮਾਨਵਤਾ ਦੀ ਭਲਾਈ ਲਈ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨੇ ਹਨ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਿਰਤ ਕਮਾਈ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਦਸਵੰਦ ਵੀ ਕੱਢਣਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਫਾਇਦੇ ਲਈ ਹਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਮਾਰਗ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦਰਸਾਇਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਹੀ ਭਲੇ ਲਈ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਗੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲੈ ਲਈਏ ਅਤੇ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਏ ਮਾਈ ਨੇਮ ਇਸ ਕੋਲਦੀਪ ਗਿਲ ਹਮ ਬ੍ਰੋਕਰ ਆਫ ਸਕਾਈ ਰੀਅਲਟੀ ਦ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸੋ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ because client trust us I've been doing this my whole life my team is my wife my office manager and my agents we look forward to on your business and we do speak your language thank you sara swag ke sath Vijay Tanaja of Elite Bollywood Entertainment Inc and Velocity Commercial Investments Inc present The Bang The Tour Reloaded Bharati Karoga I'm Salman Khan Hi everyone this is Katrina Kaif Six July Washington at the Capital One Arena But is bad sara swag ke sath Welcome back to the show viewers sare darshakan da show de vich swagat hai aur assi gall jari karde ha sardar dennis singh hona de naal gall chal rahi si gi ke eh sikhi de vich inna di introduction kive hoyi te hun assi agla jehda inna nu question puchhange ke inna ne fer sikhi dharan kive kiti so what was the next step after the man just disappeared and you never saw him again what was the next step so i went to the gurwara he wrote on that piece of paper and this where i met my mentor dr nanel singh we have been lifetime companions ever since then now i kept going there every sunday hoping that i'd get a turban <laughs> to be honest right like maybe three months passed never got a turban then one day he came and he says dennis you're ready for you Oh okay and the same person the same person that he Nani finally Nani. showed up finally. at the gurdwara he was there every sunday but i never did get a turban maybe he was saying this guy is here for a turban okay Let's see what is happening
how is it, Amrit Sanchar? Sanchar, yes, I Amrit Sanchar, I was yes. learning at that m moment what it is to be a Sikh because he was very diligent in bringing across to me what it is I'm doing. Right. Come with your palms in your hands. These were all things that he'd sit, talk to me, that I'd be picking up to know this is a sacrifice. It's right. a sacrifice, it's a service if you want to become a Sikh. So at that point in time, I was learning from him, understanding the difference in, in Sikh and being non-Sikh. It was a total sacrifice of self-commitment. So I'm going to ask you two questions here. First mm -hmm. of all, were you spiritual at all before you saw that man wearing a turban? Spiritual in the sense that I grew up as a Christian. Okay. So you did grow up as a Christian, but were you a church-going Christian or... Uh, really. Because there's a difference between being spiritual and being religious. Being religious as you become, you know, part of a formal religion with bureaucracy and everything. Right. Um, but then being spiritual is um, you're out there looking. Your your spirit is hungry, and you, you're look uh, in in Sikhi we call it rudi mm -hmm. You know, the, you're looking for food for your soul. Mm -hmm. Was was your soul hungry? before you met that man wearing a turban. So not were you out there looking for something? Not as much as when I met him. That's when the search really started because here's what happened. Nam, Nam Simran. Okay. That, that thing that brings the essence out in one. Without right. Nam, there is no God. So, There's so, nothing there. So, so, the so you started, meditation. so your path to Sikhi was Nam Simran. Nam Simran. Because for some right. of us it's Seva. Like for me, I didn't really know much about, you know, why we should do the bot. I, I mean, I had heard people do it. I knew it was something good that you do. But uh, myself, uh, I was introduced to Sikhi through the path of Seva. Well, Nam Simran, it's, a medit it's the meditation, as you know. And right. the deeper you get into right. Nam Simran, it's the more the inner being comes out. The thing about Japji that Guru Nanak tells us, Right. sight, sounds, you're picking these up, wow. you know, and then it becomes such, you, you, you're hungry for it, you're going back the next day, and you remain in that state of mind, it's a state of mind, right, right, and it's, you have that faith, for me, Pawanji, it's a blind leap, you know, like a guy jumping off a cliff right. without anything, so you all body, Hoping mind, that the guru would is, take is you. immersed in that. Yes. And the guru did because maybe in previous life I was there, you know, so it's a recurrence now of bringing this out. It's a beautiful um, concept that you just mentioned that is a constant state of mind. Our guruji does say, Nam Kumari Nanaka Chadi Raha Din Raat. You know, it's, it's that state of mind that where, where you feel like you're high, you're happy, and you're ever, just out there. Ever, ever. It's, and that's it's, what it's beautiful. Does. Yep. And he brings this out in us, in the part that you mentioned, Siva. It's a mirror period, a total balance of the spiritual qualities. Also, the fact that you're part of the outer world, out of, outside there. This is when the righteous deeds, the noble deeds, take place in Siva. Right. So it comes. So, if you were to share with our viewers, what is the biggest challenge uh, that you have faced uh, in your journey while, while being a Sikh? Getting rid of my ego. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that is big stuff. Okay. And it is in, you know, Bente Shope, you know. Just, just as the Guru says, you know, course. ego. Yes, yeah, getting there. rid of ego is a, is a once, tough job. Once, you, once that happens, the fate, everything comes into place. But many of us is timid by the fact that we have this thing within us that can't be removed and you will never get to go to with that. Even now it's still there, but we work on it. It's a daily it's a daily challenge. It is. It, it is, is a indeed. daily challenge. And uh, did you have any fears? Were you fearful of anything when you know, people are fearful of uh, quitting one job and uh, you know applying to a new job. People are afraid of going to a new school. People are afraid of new experiences. Were were there any? Was there any fear in your mind when you were taking Sikhi, You know, in in big jumps, so to speak. There was no fear. I'll tell you why. The congregation, the community, the sangat, 
that I attended, I was well protected. You know, it's like I couldn't do anything wrong. So right. shielded by Guru's Sangha, Guru's community, and who opened with open arms, embraced me. My mentor was there all the time, so I felt I was getting his protection also. But wow. that fear vanished when I could go into classroom. I was, I'm doing aerospace engineering at the time. Oh, okay. So, you know, my test, So you were an exams, undergrad student undergrad at that time? At the time. Okay. And finally became graduate student in the same discipline. But those fears of not knowing, not having, those, are, those all vanish with his group. Taking constant Simran, one becomes group, take his form. And that was a blessed thing. So the fear is also vanished there. Wow. Viewers, we will continue our, uh, our journey uh, just learning and walking down the path that brought Dennis Singh to his sarup, the Sant Spahi aspect that we are looking at today. Uh, we will continue the journey right after the short break. Hi, my name is Kuldeep Gill. I'm broker of Sky Realty. The reason we are so successful, because client trust us. I've been doing this my whole life. My team is my wife, my office manager, and my agents. We look forward to on your business, and we do speak your language. Thank you. Hi. Vijay Taneja of Elite Bollywood Entertainment Inc. and Velocity Commercial Investments Inc. present The Bunk, The Tour Reloaded. I'm Salman Khan. Hi everyone, this is Katrina Kess. You see me live. 6 July, Washington. At the Capital One Arena. But is bad, Zara Swag is Show the which, my show, my life the which, you all viewers to welcome to the show. And we are going to Atmak. ਜਿਹੜੀ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਹੈ ਆਤਮਿਕ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਡੈਨਿਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਣਾ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਚਾਨਣਾ ਪਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਉਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਮਿਲੇ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਗੁਣਾ ਦੀ ਖੁਸ਼ਬੂ ਮਿਲ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਤਰ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਟੁੰਬ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ so jada kuch na kehta hoya dena singh ji i will ask you the next question what is your view of the sikh youth of today obviously um you have seen quite a bit um in the last 5 decades as um the some of the times have been so down um you know in in the in, in sikh recent sikh history as uh, there have certain events that have shaped our our calm our panth forever for years to come I would even say it's for centuries to come. The problems that we have faced, the challenges that we have faced, um, the successes that Sikh diaspora has achieved in the Western world. What do you think of the Sikh youth of today? My, <clears throat> my views here, again, Sikh youth, there may be a gap. Okay. A cultural gap in identity, Sikh identity, so important. Here is a Sikh youth in high school, in kindergarten, in middle school, and he's constantly, or she's constantly bombarded about their dress, whatever it is, okay. and you know, peer pressure. Okay. There's a lot on our youth. Okay. And it's for the older generation, us, to understand what they're going through and embrace. But maybe that is not there sometimes. And something that we need to think about. Uh, <clears throat> I've been noticing you as a youth civilizer, reaching out, you know, bridging that gap between our parents who may not speak fluent English and our kids, or in, that's, that gap needs to be bridged. So I understand that there's a, that you're mentioning the gap between um, the older generation of Sikhs and the youth and nine out of ten times we're asking the youth that youth should be doing this, youth should be doing that. What is one thing if you could say to the older generation of Sikhs 
um, you know, uh, who have been overwhelmingly majority of this um, older generation have been the Punjabi Sikhs who have immigrated from South Asia. What would you tell that uh, tell the older generation? What how should they um, what should they make out of their expectations of the youth? To understand what the youth is going through, okay. the different pressures, and to closer link with them to understand. Um, there's a program that I was um, watching recently in which Sikh girls and right. boys are being preyed upon by outside forces. And we may not believe, all the parents may not believe that is happening in our sangha, in our community, not right. paying attention. But yes, it's happening. Now, and I do know the cases that you were talking about. That's more of, is that more of just a, uh, like a European problem where uh, Sikhs in the UK have been facing that problem. Do you think that's a, a, a problem here in North America as well? It's global. It's in Canada. It's here. We may not be identifying with it. As long as there's outlets like drugs, like whatever, you know, our kids are going to get swept up in it. Okay. And we may be complacent in not thinking that my child could be inside in, in that. Then again, in Sikh parenting that I have noticed here in the United States, Sikhs are very much in touch with their children. Okay. I so can, I so can that, is a, that. that is one positive note. that It's very can... positive. In my Sangat, in my community, there's a, there's a close relationship. What is the I will say that the children of Sikh children have been able to do their own parents. Because Dennis Singh is a third person uh, perspective of the Punjabi Sikh community, a like Western perspective. They are giving us their own because they are from the same place in America. So they have learned the lessons and the lessons that they have learned from the same place. So this is our perspective that the mother-in-law has been in this area, the Washington metropolitan area, the East Coast, the Galloway, the Jandir, the Prades, the Vich, the Shamal. So the mother-in-law has been in touch with their children, they have 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 been in touch with their children, and they have been in touch with their children, and they have been in touch with their children. I would like to continue with that youth because youth, youth is our future. Where do you see our Panth headed? Where do you see our Sikh calm, our Sikh nation is headed? Starting out, Guru Nanak pointed out the unity, yes. coming together as one, until this real Panthic Etka, is that how you pronounce? Yes, Panthic Etka. Yes, that's Etka. right. Panthic unity. Yes. And we understand why that happens, why we don't have that solidarity that we do need. Granted, right. Sikhs are closely knit. I've never seen another religion as closely knitted as Sikhs. But even, I'm talking about unity and the diversity, because of we have eight families, let's say, with different rate, rate right. Mariadas. Yes. And until we can come together and decide why there shouldn't be a different colors or a different how many Bahanis we are saying, right. that needs to be dealt with. Okay. Bringing all of us and going all the back way to the original, the Gurubani. Yes. The Kalsapan, the Gurubani. If we move outside of that, then we are lost. Right. But even if we have eight different families inside here, we can still come together because the differences are so small. Right. They're right. not major differences. Right. At the end of the day, we all go back to Guru Granth Sahib. Wow. At the wow. end of the day, we have Kalsapant. Jedi Gal Sardar Dana Singh Hunani Sanu Dasiya ke saade jede aapsi matbev ne jo saade differences ne o baut chote ne. They are truly tiny differences that we could overcome and it's not even going to need a whole lot of and of efforts i mean it's really just common sense ideas right if i may vast upon the idea that you just presented that guru gave us the panthak unity and this unity was not only supposed to be limited to the sick panth but we were supposed to embrace other religions as well so if i may coin this word here you know it's it's my personal opinion that i believe sikhism was designed or it was founded as a secular religion, so to speak. Surely. That Absolutely. might be an oxymoron here, that if you're secular, how can you be religion? But I truly believe that Sikhism was founded 
as a secular religion where you can belong to any religion and yet you can be part of the of the guru's family that's Guru guru nanak's objective that was his vision right universal love and I pronounce egalitarian society, yes. social order, yes. bringing everything together. Right. To unite so, all of humanity. All of humanity, including our brothers. Yes. So until, when we do that and realize we have one we right. you know. So, so the message is that we need to go back to the basics. We have to. Yep. That that is awesome. That is, that is awesome. I am I am already feeling uplifted as if I have gotten some, you know, spiritual wisdom and just, you know, you're walking down the path that you took, just experiencing it. It's it's a great I mm -hmm. mean it's it's a great honor for us to have you here on our T V show. And uh last but not least, I would like to ask you to look at the camera and tell our viewers what is one recommendation that you could make to our community? Uh, either the, it could be the global Sikh community or it could be as specific as the local Sikh community here in the DC metropolitan area. Remember the sacrifices <clears throat> that the Sikhs who have gone before us has made. They kept their hair, they kept the five, uh, five K's. K's, and it's very essential that whenever we're doing artists as Sikhs, remember those sacrifices and keep those very, very dear and close to us in our services to humankind, to mankind, and, and um, to the global, global society. That will bring us a better world, a better place for us to live. As you can see, we have a lot of people who have been learning कि एक जड़ा मैसेज एक कम्युनिटी ने देना चाह रहे ने कि जिन्ना सिंगा सिंगनिया ने केस रखे ने और अपना सिद्ध नहीं शड्या अपना सेरोत्रवादता पर केस नहीं उतरवाए कह रहे ने कि उन्ना नू हर वेले अपने हृदय दे नेडे रखो उन्ना नू याद रखो उन्ना तो इंस्पिरेशन लो एंड विद दैट वी वुल गो हर एंड once again, I am thankful to Waheguru who made it possible for you to come here. And we, I feel fortunate that you came here and you shared your experience with the Sangat, all of our viewers. And uh, with that, I will see you in the next week. And we'll see you in the next week. And we'll see you in the next week. At this time, at this place. Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh.